Hi everybody. Welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Today we're going to have an armchair conversation, um, much like the one we had last week. Uh, and today's subject is going to be money. Money basically is a medium of exchange, something we use uh, to purchase goods and services. Uh, that's what the corporations say to us. Uh, others would say money is the love of money is the root of all evil. Others would say money is the root of all evil. Um, we're going to look at it today from uh, an Occupy perspective. Uh, first of all, money as a medium of exchange is uh, Federal Reserve notes, basically, and coins. Another method of medium of exchange is barter. And I would recommend that if you remember the circle, inner circle, uh, outer circle that we built for other issues uh, that we're presenting uh, in these broadcasts, uh, you may remember that the individual is at the center of it, which means basically don't spend money if you don't have to. Reuse, repurpose, recycle, and reject. Reject means just don't get it. If you don't need it, don't get it. Uh, one of the problems with c capitalism is that um, there's a uh, crass purchasing of things that are unnecessary. I like to call it um, cheap and cheesy Chinese stuff, which too many people are out there getting, I think we should stop doing that as much as possible. It's good for the environment to stop purchasing. It's good for the economy, your personal economy, to stop purchasing. Uh, so there you have it. Barter, if you can, instead of purchase. And do without as much as you can. Um, and inside of that circle is make as much as you can for yourself. Uh, like you've seen in our um, issues with um, presentations with getting your own food. We also recommend that you uh, reuse as much as possible on an individual level instead of spending $25 for a t-shirt, go to the thrift store and spend 25 cents or whatever it costs depending on the nature of the, the place you're buying them. Uh, some of the church related thrift stores will give you incredible discounts, incredible discounts. and. Um, we had, uh, once upon a time, created a list of all the thrift stores in Youngstown, and um, we put that online um, probably five years ago. Uh, you may wish to do the same thing uh, for your neighborhood or for, for yourself so that you know where you can go and purchase used items instead of news, uh, new items. Also, in terms of spending money, there's a thing called the ReStore um, in Youngstown where they have building materials um, and uh, other household-type items where you can go and get uh, things like a door or a gutter or things like that. So thrift stores are more than just a place to go look for clothing. They're places to get household items and building materials as well. So spend cash um, as little as possible. And then instead of using a credit card, spend cash as much as possible. Get away from the system. Get away from the man. If you do have to have a credit card, I would recommend that you use uh, a card from a credit union because credit unions are cooperatives. No large bank makes money off of a credit union credit card, uh, with the exception of uh, the Visa or MasterCard where there is. So that's a, uh, some, some fees that a corporation does make. But there's not a bank behind that. It's Visa, MasterCard, or um, whoever it is that you have your card with. Um, in Youngstown, there's 717 Credit Union, uh, and there's also an education union, which I can't remember the initials of, S-E-I-U, I think, I'm not sure. Anyway, there are credit unions that you are eligible for, and even if you're not qualified to be in a credit union because of a member in the organization, most credit unions will let you join anyway. And so the money goes to local communities and back into uh, the lives of your neighbors rather than off to New York to where the big people like uh, Moron Stanley, Smith Barney, or Wells Fargo, or any of those other uh, large companies are sucking up the bucks. Remember, these are the people that got us into the economic mess that we're in now. These are the 99% that... Uh, stole money from us and then uh, through our own retirement accounts and stole money from us from the bailout that the government gave them. 
So get away from banks uh, as much as you can by using credit unions. Also, um, if you are thinking about uh, loans, you can go to a credit union for loans as well. And then to back up into the circle of individuals, if you can borrow money from individuals or you can lend money, if you can afford to lend money to people, uh, you should do that rather than using the corporate banks. Um, and you can write that stuff up in contract form if you're worried about whether you're going to lose the money. You can write your mom a contract that she is obligated to, to fulfill. It doesn't mean that just because you lend money to people, you're not going to be able to get it back. You can do that if you wish to. Um, is that legally binding? Uh, yes. You can, uh, you can have a legally binding contract of a loan, a personal loan with somebody. Um, and you can use collateral. Uh, you can, uh, like, I, I have loans out to people who um, needed to finance their house. And so I lent them the money, and I wrote a contract with an attorney, an Occupy attorney, uh, and uh, it's, for the most part, worked out fairly well. So if you're thinking about retirement and money, uh, there are options that you can have rather than just buying the corporate uh, spiel. You can go to uh, a place where everybody who is in the investment firm is, quote, a member, and uh, then that means that you own uh, part of that company when you're using them, and that company is called Vanguard. If you're going to invest, go to Vanguard. Um, uh, I'm hoping that Vanguard will create what's called a social responsibility fund um, that uh, is worthwhile, but you can buy individual stocks, individual bonds, uh, you can buy government bond mutual funds uh, from Vanguard. You can invest in all sorts of retirement uh, mediums from them, and you can uh, you can um, use that as the way that you build up your retirement funds. Uh, the other thing about saving money and investing is that if you have a criteria that is important to you, there are social responsibility indexes out there that will list. Uh, mutual funds that you can invest in if you don't want to do the investing yourself, or you can go and read what companies that they invest in that they consider to be socially responsible. Um, just to give you an example, and I'm not recommending this company, Calvert is one of the companies that do social responsibility investing. Now, they will charge you a bigger fee than Vanguard would, but what you can do is you can go to the Calvert site, find the stocks that they have in their different funds, and buy them yourself. So you can do investment in socially responsible companies. Now, you know, if you've listened to my videos before, I am not a corporatist. I want as little to do with them as possible. That's one way to do it if you need to retire. Uh, another thing is, if, uh, to, in terms of money, if you're going to think about uh, buying a house, uh, you can do that uh, through foreclosed mortgages. Um, you can also... Uh, do the same thing with cars, buy used cars, not new cars, and save the money for the cars rather than getting involved with a corporation and buy the cars from individuals. So that's just a little bit of a spiel about money today, um, just to give you some heads up that you don't have to do it the corporate way. You can do it the Occupy way. You can put yourself and your family and your friends at the center of the circle and avoid the corporations. So thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, You're welcome. Bye.